All right, what is going on today? I am going to answer one of your questions. And uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Mike, you have got a bunch of great content. Thank you. And it can be pretty overwhelming for new guys. Can you tell me the best chemicals I need to know about for my wash biz? Okay, that is a great question. And knowing what chemicals you need to use, how to mix them, how to apply them, all of that is absolutely critical to your business, whether you're brand new or maybe you're just adding something new to your arsenal, okay? And when it comes to pressure washing and soft washing, there is actually a lot more to it than just blasting away with high pressure or spraying a super strong chemical at a surface and crossing your fingers and hoping for the best end result. And with that being said, there are a bunch of chemicals out there that can make your life a lot easier, can make the process go a lot smoother. It can give your customer a better end result. And most importantly, it can make you a lot more money. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about five chemicals that you can use that can hopefully create substantial revenue. So obviously, number one is the old faithful sodium hypochlorite, SH, bleach, call it what you will. Uh, it is a potent disinfectant and it is a phenomenal stain remover. It's highly effective in removing mold, mildew, algae, and just general dirt and grime. Bleach can be used for cleaning pretty much all exterior surfaces like siding, decks, roofs, driveways, pretty much everything. It kills organics and that is why it's so effective and provides a noticeable transformation which significantly enhances the appearance of whatever it is that you're cleaning. However, you have to be careful with it. You got to use caution. You need to know your surfaces. You need to know how to apply it, the percentages for each surface and what you can spray and what you need to avoid spraying. You need to always do test spots with any chemical, especially bleach, if you're unsure how it's going to react with the surface being clean because it can damage certain materials and vegetation if not properly diluted or rinsed. And we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. Another great specialty chem is rust remover. Rust is ugly and it's hard to get out and most people don't even know you can. And in some parts of the country, it is a huge problem. Rust stains on concrete surfaces can be a challenging issue to tackle, especially for homeowners who might not even know that there's a solution to that problem. Rust removers often contain oxalic or phosphoric acid. Uh, and they're specifically formulated to dissolve the rust and restore the original appearance of the concrete or whatever surface it is that you're cleaning. Also be careful of using rust removers on painted surfaces, metal surfaces, because there can be adverse reactions. But offering this as an add-on to your business can be very lucrative, especially for those customers with concrete surfaces like driveways, patios, walkways uh, that have got those ugly stains. And obviously providing effective rust removal solutions to your customers can greatly enhance the overall value and satisfaction which is what we all want. Happy customers are return customers. And those are the type of customers that we want because we know it's way cheaper to keep those existing customers than it is to have to go out and get brand new customers every single year. So I'm gonna go over three more chemicals that are really gonna help enhance your business and the offering of your business. Uh, but if you wanna learn more, way more uh, than what we're just talking about today, check this out. If you're looking to start a pressure washing business, but you're not sure what chemicals to use, how to mix them, or how to clean every surface on a residential job site, the equipment you need and how to use it properly, safely, and profitably, check out How to Wash, the number one selling pressure washing training in the world. It will be the first link in the comment section and the description. Okay, so we have all rolled up to driveways or gas stations, dumpster pads, receiving areas that are nasty as hell. And having a strong degreaser is critical in providing the customer with what they are calling you Four, degreasers are designed to remove oil, grease, and a bunch of other stubborn and nasty stains from all kinds of surfaces. Degreasers work well on concrete driveways, garage floors, gas stations, pretty much anywhere there is oil or grease. And by offering degreasing services, you're going to be able to attract clients who require deep cleaning and maintenance keyword maintenance of grease prone areas. Usually these are on a regular basis and that recurring route work is great for the long-term success of your business. Okay. The next one is something that we didn't really use that much until I started hanging out with Cody over at Southeast Soft Wash. I always kind of thought it was bullshit. Honestly, uh, bleach was good enough. Now we did mess around with some soaps in our roof wash, but we were using laundry detergent, not dish soap. And I always thought that laundry soap would be a better thing since it was formulated to work with bleach. So if you're you're going to be a cheap ass, use laundry soap over dish soap. But if you want something that actually is going to perform because it was designed for what we do, get a professional surfactant. Because what surfactants do is they improve the effectiveness of water by reducing surface tension, which enables way better penetration and a better cleaning. Surfactants help loosen dirt, oils, and grime, making it easier for our equipment to remove them. It makes our job easier. You mix it with your bleach for that added cleaning power and just an overall better end result. 
Okay, and this is the last one. And trust me, if you've been in the game long enough, or hell, even if you haven't been in the game long enough, you have probably killed stuff. And I'm not talking about the stuff that we want to clean. I'm not talking about mold and mildew and algae, right? I'm talking about plants and grass and your customers' flowers, right? Those are the things that we do not want to kill, but you probably have. And if you haven't yet, you probably will. But that's why you need to know about this next specialty chem. And obviously, we always do a pre-rinse, we do a post-rinse to ensure that we're not gonna kill anything, but this is the one thing that's gonna help you ensure that you really aren't gonna kill anything, and that is a bleach neutralizer. Okay, so after you use your bleach, right, for your cleaning, it's essential to neutralize the surrounding surface to prevent killing anything. Bleach neutralizers, they help to deactivate the residual bleach, making the surface safe for people, pets, and vegetation. Now, we do this as part of our service, right? And not every single service, like for roofs or if we're doing a driveway and we don't need a surface clean, we're just going to soft wash, then we'll use the neutralizer on the surrounding grass. And I guess you could offer it as an upsell, but I would tell you to get lost if I was a customer. But the reason that I included this in here is not because I think it's going to help you make more money, right, as like an add-on service, but it's definitely going to help prevent you from spending more more money if you happen to nuke someone's plants or their grass. Okay, so those are the five chems that can help you make more money, save you time, and give you better end results. It's important to note that profitability uh, depends on a lot of factors. I talk about it all the time. You need to know your overhead. You need to understand your market demand, your competition, pricing, and the efficiency and professionalism of your service plays a huge impact. Safety should also be a huge priority for you, especially when you're using chemicals. And please follow the manufacturer's instructions. Maintain the appropriate certification and, and also make sure that you have the MSDS sheets that you need in case OSHA comes a knocking. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope it was beneficial. I hope you gained a little bit. I hope it answered the original guy's question. Don't forget to check out how to wash. And uh, there's a link and all that stuff down below. And also, I'd love for you guys to go check out Quote IQ. We are actually giving away a window cleaning uh, business starter kit. We've teamed up with the WCR. So check that out. That is in two weeks from today. So uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk later. See you.